Oh, good morning. I've just been uh, mucking around with my my Southern M7. No, let's just have a look at it. No. Yeah, have a look at it. Yeah, it's not too bad a detail for a model that old. Yeah, it's quite representative of what was uh, of the real thing. I'm trying did a very nice job. Um, putting their little model together. Um, I really have a soft spot for the M7s. I'll just uh, kick this one off. But as you can hear, very noisy, I suppose. It's one way of saying it. And she jumps the points a little bit. The wheels are uh, not the friendliest to the points. But still, quite an attractive little runner. Anyway, well, the point of the exercise today is, oh, it's stuck on that point there. I'll see if I can dodge her along a little bit there. Get her off. Come on. There we go. She's come up a bit more. There we are. Anyway, that's a nice little model. And this one's kept okay for the for the age of it. Ah, oh, jeez, I forget now when these were made. Um, I'd say they'd have to be mid 60s. Maybe maybe a little bit later with this, the the wheels are a little bit more modern. But still, even if it's an early 70s model, it's still quite old. And uh, now the point of the exercise today is I'll just bring it around and and show you in a second. Let it come into view. There she goes. There we are. It's the Hornby London Southwest Region or Railway version of the M7. Now this is quite an uptick in the uh, in the production process, as you probably can see. Um, now. I do have the box with all of the paperwork and things. I hate showing boxes, but I will for this one particular occasion. And there she is. It's the collector's edition or special edition of the collector's center. And there it is there. Let's see what the end of it says there. Just so that for reference. Uh, 2678 London South West Rail 044 Class M7 Locomotive Number 252 DCC ready There you go, if I ever go DCC I'll be I'll be made in the shade now, I've had this for ages <laughs> Kind of these things are so fragile You're scared to get them out of the box But um, They're so well detailed you see there's a, even the little sand and pipes down there. And the brake rigging on the wheels. I don't know if you can see it pick that up there, but she's there. And, uh, I'll just try and show you the detail inside the, the cab there. Like as you can see, it's obviously painted. What a shame I can't get a better light in there. There we go, there's a bit of detail there showing you. The gauges and the levers and whatnot. And uh, I suppose I've heard these called greedy bars, I don't know about that. Uh, just like a rack really, just to hold a bit more coal, which I did read up about this, that those bars were put there. To increase the coal capacity, capacity by half a ton. And, uh, yeah. 
beautiful looking little nose and um, umbrella. And a locomotive is what I'm probably trying to say. So this is obviously a, a Dougal Drummond um, design. If you have a look at that uh, smoke box door there, you can see that it's conical. As in it uh, points out like a cone with the dart on the top. Now that was done for spark arresters. Stop setting fires. So they had to change the shape of the, the door to um, allow for the for all that gear in there to, to fit. But, uh, had a terrible end, old um, Dougal Drummond. He's got his feet scalded. They had to. He got gangrenous and infected, so he ended up having to have his legs cut off. But he chose to have it done without the anaesthetic and died of shock. That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, back to the engine. I'm just showing you how she goes. It runs beautifully. Now listen to that. A little bit of wheel slip, but who cares? Now, I don't have any um, suitable coaches because this was just a one-off purchase. And I never ever thought I'd be buying something like this. But when I saw it, it was a buy it now. Oh, it was years ago now. Um, oh, it must be good. Maybe eight, nine years ago when I got this. And uh, it was a buy it now type of thing. On that particular uh, site, auction site. So anyway, I never ever have collected the, the cages, which is, you know, go figure. They're not that common down here in Australia. But I just couldn't seem to pass this up. You know, I know that they were used mainly for um, suburban coaches, coach, uh, suburban lines and... Uh, they basically as they, uh, got phased out with the electrification of the southern region. They got just uh, bit players in the end. I did read that they uh, ended up lugging a bit of freight around in the yards to keep themselves uh, occupied. I don't think this one would have, but uh, the typical M7 would have. And these Pew and Co. Coal wagons. I, I bought that as a rake for about a hundred bucks. Oh god, six or seven years ago, I suppose. All boxed. So I'd say they would have been lugging a bit of coal around down in, that, in the south of England back in the day. They're nice looking. I like those. And I've got a bit of fish on the end. English with their fish, hey? It's very popular. I suppose it's fish is popular down here. I just don't like seafood, so I'm biased. Anyway. Hey, mate. Sorry about that. It was just my son coming home from the gym. And a magpie pecked him. <laughs> Uh, got him right in the cheek. It was very funny. Anyway, back to the fish. The wagons of it there. Got another one there too. And then there's another one out the back. It's nice to have little rakes and stuff. But yeah, this one's just beautifully. Yeah, my recommendation is if you can get one, buy it because they're a very nice locomotive. They run well, and uh, it's not a very common livery, I've got to tell you. you know, I don't know if someone's 
critique these in the past and pull them to pieces for some idiosyncrasy for maybe the colour's not right, but I wouldn't know. I've <laughs> never seen those trains in my life anyway. Down in Oz, we have a different brand down here, so um, yeah, looks perfectly fine to me. Uh, if a particular reviewer would have picked uh, this to pieces because they are Hornby didn't colour in the axles on the wheels. But, um, you know, when it's going, who knows, is that as compared to the fine detail of this? This is very beautiful, like a note of, or a model of it, anyway. Anyway, it's not really a review, it's just what I think. I think it's very nice. Anyway, cheerio.